King James Bible, the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 57. The righteous perisheth, and no man layeth it to heart, and merciful men are taken away, none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. He shall enter into peace, they shall rest in their beds, each one walking in his uprightness. But draw near, hither, ye sons of the sorceress, the seed of the adulterer and the whore. Against whom do ye sport yourselves? Against whom do ye, do ye a wide mouth and draw out the tongue? Are ye not children of transgression, a seed of falsehood? Inflaming yourselves with idols under every green tree, slaying the children in the valleys under the cliffs of the rocks. Among the smooth stones of the stream is thy portion. They... They are a lot they are thy lot, even to them hast thou poured a drink offering, thou hast offered a meat offering, should I receive comfort in these upon a lofty and high mountain hast thou set thy bed, even thither wentest thou up to offer sacrifice behind the doors also and the post hast thou set up thy remembrance, for thou hast discovered thyself to another than me. The art and art gone up, thou hast enlarged thy bed, and made thee a covenant with them. Thou lovest the bed where thou sawest it. And thou wentest to the king with ointment, and did, didst increase thy perfumes, and didst send thy messengers far off, and didst debase thyself even unto hell. Thou art wearied in the greatness of the, thy way, yet sayest, saidest thou not, there is no hope. Thou hast found the life of, the, of thine hand. Therefore thou wast not grieved. And of whom hast thou been afraid or feared, that thou hast lied, and hast not remembered me, nor laid it to thy heart? Have I not held my peace even of old, and thou fearest me not? I will declare thy righteousness and thy works, for they shall not profit thee. When thou criest, let thy companies deliver thee, and the wind shall carry them all away. Vanity shall take them. But he that putteth his trust in me shall possess the land, and shall inherit my holy mountain. And shall say, Cast ye up, cast ye up, prepare the way, take up the stumbling block out of the way of my people. For thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy, I dwell in the high and holy place, with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit, to revive the spirit of the humble, and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. For I will not contend forever, neither will I be always wroth. For the spirit should fail before me, and the souls which I have made. For the iniquity of the covetousness was I wroth, and smote him. I hid me, and was wroth, and he went on forwardly in the way of his heart. I have seen his ways, and I will heal him. I will lead him also, and restore comforts unto him, and to his mourners. I create the fruit of the lips, peace. Peace unto him that is far off, and to him that is near, saith the Lord. And I will heal him. But the wicked are like the troubled sea, when he cannot rest, whose waters cast up mire and dirt. There is no peace, saith the God, to the wicked.